Jackhammering is a very common task on our job sites and one that can be done safely and efficiently by following some basic steps and techniques. Everyone in the immediate area should put on appropriate PPE, hearing protection, safety glasses, and steel toe boots. The operator should have these items plus gloves and metatarsal guards. Proper storage of jackhammers is critical. Always secure the jackhammer, storing straight up and down. Jackhammers can weigh in excess of 70 pounds. Always get help when loading or unloading a jackhammer. The air hose should be stretched out to avoid creating a tripping hazard in the work zone. Check that the air hose couplings are secure before each use and verify that the safety clips are in. Before beginning jackhammering, lay an extra bit beside the hole that you cut so it is ready in case the bit being used gets stuck. Also make sure to use the right bit for the job. Lay jackhammers down when they are not being used instead of propping them up, as they could easily fall and cause serious injury. There are two primary methods for safely operating a jackhammer, and each is acceptable as long as the safety procedures mentioned here are followed. One common way is to rock the jackhammer front to back as the bit sinks. This allows the gap to widen. If this method is used, you should stop just before the bit stops rocking back and forth, to avoid the bit getting stuck. Some employees prefer to operate a jackhammer by starting with the handle leaning towards your body, walking forward as the bit sinks. This technique will pry on pavement, but allows the tool to be straight up and down when you finish. Both techniques allow the jackhammer to end in a straight up and down position. This is important because it allows you to use your upper body strength and legs to lift on the jackhammer, not your back. No matter which technique you use, your feet should be planted shoulder width apart and your body square. In the event a bit gets stuck, don't force it out. Attempt to loosen by gently rocking the jackhammer side to side or squeezing the trigger a couple times. But use caution. If this cannot be easily done, you should move to the next option. If the bit gets stuck and is difficult to remove, detach and use the other bit to dig it out. If jackhammering is to be done for periods, of greater than 15 minutes, employees should rotate the task to minimize chances of injury. The first choice and the overall best practice is to avoid using the jackhammer altogether, completing the work with a hoe ram when possible.